Honoring King Carter, today the six-year-old boy who was gunned down a week ago will be laid to rest. Police say King was playing outside of his apartment complex when he was shot in the chest. Local 10, Sonella Sabovic is live outside the church where his funeral will be held today. Good morning, Sonella. Good morning, Nikki. A heartbroken and grieving family is set to gather together today around 2 o'clock this afternoon to remember little King Carter, who tragically died a week ago due to some senseless gun violence. A sad goodbye to a child who's left a lasting impression. Hundreds of mourners gather to remember and see six-year-old King Carter one last time. During the viewing on Friday, King's tiny casket was surrounded by some of the things he loved, from Ninja Turtles to footballs. For some, it was just too much. His family just trying to make sense of it all. You want to learn to hold your children a little tighter, kiss them a little longer. I find myself holding my granddaughter now more than ever. King's principal speaking to his parents who sat quietly in the front row. King will always be a brilliant bulldog because we are the bulldog. Also in attendance showing their support, Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez and Miami-Dade School Superintendent Alberto Carvalho. Forever treasure the memory of King Carter. This is a crisis, a trickle of terror. It has been a week since King was killed. Since then, Miami-Dade police have worked tirelessly to make arrests in the child's death, and they've taken three teens into custody, 18-year-old Leonard Adams, 17-year-old Erwin Presley, and just yesterday, police arrested Tamar Teams, only 16 years old. The trio are accused of driving to an apartment complex in northwest Miami-Dade, where King lived to confront a person they were feuding with on Facebook. King was caught in the middle as the group was exchanging gunfire. Carvalho believes the community has had enough of this gun violence. I know the community is united. The parents are united in doing something about this. The message is, you know, don't do this because if you do this, we're going we're to catch it and we're going to put you away. Now again, King Carter is set to be laid to rest today at New Birth Baptist Church behind me at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Reporting live from Northwest Miami-Dade, Sonella Sabovic, Local 10 News.